Matildas beat Zimbabwe but USA or Brazil Lumen Olympic quarter finals Australia secured a resounding 6-1 victory over Zimbabwe in their final Olympic pool match and progressed to the knockout stages. In the process, but not even that result has helped them avoid a desperately tough likely quarter final clash with either host nation Brazil or world number one USA after rivals Germany secured a better goal difference on a dramatic day of football in Rio. Even with a 2-1 loss to Group F winners Canada, Germany advanced with a goal difference one better than Australia. As the Matildas reigned in goals but failed to score the extra they required in the last 26 minutes of the Zimbabwe encounter as their opponents managed a late consolation. Analysis IOC's response to Russia doping scandal Nothing more than a confused mess Russian swimmer Yulia Efimova embodies the committee's muddled verdict. After it allowed 278 Russian athletes to compete in the Rio 2016 Games read more second-half substitute Michelle Heyman scored a brace for Australia, while there were also goals for Lisa Devana, who opened the scoring after just 69 seconds, Claire Palkinghorn, Alana Kennedy and Kaya Simon. But Australia also let plenty of chances go begging and the result may still place their medal hopes in jeopardy. The Matildas finished third in their four-team group after a disastrous 2-0 loss to Canada earlier in the competition and a 2-2 draw with Germany. But in the Rio tournament format the top two third-place teams progress as well. No riches but respect for Zimbabwe soccer team at Olympics B-I-N-D-U-R-A. Zimbabwe AP Felistas Muzangandi used to be a house cleaner. She's now an office clerk for his sugar manufacturer and also the captain of the Zimbabwe women's soccer team at the Olympics. If you need a reminder that the Olympics are about more than just riches and rewards, then the Zimbabwean soccer team is one of the starkest in Rio de Janeiro. Apart from the joy of qualifying for the Olympics, the biggest feat was showing what we can do as women in this country, Muzangandi said. I don't think before this achievement we had the recognition we deserved as women footballers in this country and women's football in general, paid only $20 a day each when on national team duty. And just $50 each for playing in a match, it's no wonder the Zimbabwean players all have day jobs. Until recently, they didn't have their own uniforms. Making do with cast-offs from the men's national team. Their pre-Olympic training camp was at a university campus where they slept in dorm rooms usually occupied by students and ate plain food served up in the college's dining hall. The training equipment was basic. Even Zimbabwean officials have been of little help. And instead jeopardized the team's chances of making the Olympics because they didn't provide enough money to fly the squad to a qualifier in Ivory Coast, forfeiting that game.